two pair of glasses again. So I'm at uh, my um, uh, kitchen laboratory uh, where we cook. Hi. And uh, yeah, and then also we do science experiments because this is as much room as I have now. What? What? It's so funny. You're taking over my kitchen. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so anyway, Russ here with RWG Research and uh, and Limitless Research. What's up, Russell guys? Martin is here. So he doesn't want to talk. He's being shy. <laughs> and uh, that's kind of cool, though, because... Uh, um, and then we got Hexar's interesting science experiment. This is his setup. So we're pulsing a, uh, a cell back here through a, uh, a different type of circuit. You got your circuit diagram? So we'll show you the circuit diagram. And it, it, we are producing a little gas. And we messed it up. It was producing more, but we kind of bumped something and broke it. And, uh, okay, so here's the circuit. This is what it looks like. Maybe we can attach a better version of this to the video description somewhere. But uh, ultimately, we've got a gating, a pulse frequency, and it's running through an, a different type of setup where the transformer here is center tapped going to positive voltage and we're just oscillating the coils. And we're getting out a sine wave to a bridge rectifier, to your inductors, and out to the water cell. So it's, it's an interesting little, um, a little setup. Currently pulling, we've got two meters on here. One's analog and one's digital, just to show you that they're both working pretty much the same. So the entire setup is pulling 1.4, 1.3, 1 1.4 amps at just under 12 volts. But the circuit beyond the transformer, going into the inductor in the cell, is pulling about uh, uh, 17 milliamps. So. Or is that 170 milliamps? Yeah, I was reading that wrong. So, pretty cool little circuit. Um, Hexar's been working on this for a little while, doing something just a little different and getting good results. Now, I can touch this, which is what I did earlier, and I screwed it up. I can touch this and feel, I can feel a high voltage coming off of this, um, which is unique because if you're only putting in 12 volts and you're getting out enough to shock you, there's something going on there. So a rewound iron laminated transformer. Uh, 12 volt. Okay, that was a 12 volt transformer, and rewound it for the inductance here on the page. Is this an accurate inductance? Yes. So that's an accurate measurement there. And um, yeah, interesting. And I know it doesn't look like much gas, and I think we messed it up, but that's distilled water. So we turned turned off gating, and it's hard to see. So we've turned off gating, and this is the result. And of course, your amperage doubles about because you're using twice as much power. Same thing with the input; it, the amperage doubles or thereabout. So it's uh, the gating does half the work, half the voltage, maybe half the output. Not real sure. But the interesting thing with this is this is distilled and it's functioning. We had the scope hooked up, but uh, we don't think we're getting accurate measurements with this particular digital scope. So um, it, it, the, the signal doesn't really look like a step charging signal. It's almost a constant. But the thing is, is I can feel the, uh, the high voltage on the cell, so it's rather unique. This is just a Radio Shack transformer, 12 volt to... Uh, 120 volt to 12.6 volt, but it's got a center tap, which is the important part of this particular circuit. Did I describe all that correctly? 24 volt. 24 volt, yes, yes, from one point to one point. Uh, 12.6 on each half of the winding, which you can see there is a center tap. So, uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you what's going on. And uh, this guy that's here, yeah. And uh, we're in the kitchen, so it's interesting. And Hexar is walking around me because he's camera shy, which is cool. And my wife with her lovely apron. I only had grease splattered on my clothes. Well, we're doing science experiments. No worries.
Anyway, all right, well, that's it. Just thought I'd shoot some fun video for you here. And, uh, yeah. So, a little bit at a time, making progress. Uh, Hexar's messing with the camera. All right, peace out, everybody. Enjoy. Have a good day. God bless you guys. And most importantly, have fun. Got to take a little time out of your Saturday doing projects around the house, like plumbing. Which is why these guys are here helping me out. And uh, do some science experiments. So that's it. Bye.